as we can see, there is uh, some cops out here looking for some Pokemon as well. I mean, I should just tell them where the Jinx is at, to be honest. It's not that hard, it's just back that way. Previously on Pokemon Go. What is going on guys, it's Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Go Let's Play. So in today's episode, before we go out in the field looking for some more Pokemon, unfortunately, the three-step glitch is still a thing. It's kind of insane how it still hasn't been fixed. Today I missed out on a Marowak and it just... It was depressing. And a Venusaur. <sighs> I don't want to think about it. So aside from that, before we get into today's episode, I want to talk about this unique feature within Pokemon Go that isn't really talked about too much yet uh, here on YouTube. I've seen a couple things on Reddit about it, and that is Pokemon Nests. So what are Pokemon Nests? So essentially, Pokemon Nests are a spot where pretty much one type of Pokemon will spawn there sporadically in huge numbers. You can see screenshots of people all over Reddit and over the internet of just Bulbasaurs, Dratinis, all that kind of things. And they just keep finding the same ones. Some people live on these nests. It's like insane. The Pokemon just keep spawning there and there's tons of them. Now, I think I've already seen one which was in Sunnybank, which is a uh, Kangaskhan nest. That's because you always go there, there's always Kangaskhans. And I found this thing on Reddit that has a world global location of all the nests that have been like reported and put on the website. And I highly encourage if you guys find any to put it on the map. And if you have a look at the website, there is actually one nest in Australia. There's one nest that's been confirmed. Uh, there's a lot in America, so if you guys, Americans, I definitely suggest checking out and see if there's some nests near you. But yeah, this one nest in Brisbane. It's on the other side of the city, so it's not as hard to get to. And that's uh, about 30 minutes away, so we're going to go hit it up. Now, it is confirmed as a Jinx nest. I haven't caught a Jinx yet, That she's kind of a rare Pokemon, and these like guaranteed to find them. So I think it might be a fun little adventure, and I highly suggest if you guys find any of your own nests to go ahead and contribute to the page. It's kind of like a community feedback kind of forum, and uh, they highly rely on people being, you know, truthful, and if you see one that isn't actually a nest, you can report it in that. And the cool thing about this nest is that I think it actually was the person who made the whole thread and beta tested it in Australia. So I'm actually really excited for this. So yeah, hopefully we won't be uh, thrown away, and we can go ahead and find ourselves a Jinx. Let's go get it. And if not, we'll go try and find some three-step jinxes. Yeah, I can't wait, boy. All right, so before we go out to go find the nest, we're gonna chill and grab some dinner. This place is actually lit. There's a bunch of meows, which I haven't seen many of, so I'm gonna catch these guys. All right, so we found our first uh, Illuminati here of Zubats. Right here in the middle, we are the eyes of the... Oh, there's another one. We just ruined the Illuminati triangle. It's a square now. No, it's like a trapezium nearly. Not too sure. Let's get to this nest. So I don't know if you guys have noticed the difference in camera quality. I recently picked up today the G7X Mark II. It's the next step up from the G7X series and uh, it has a better filming sensor for low light situations, which we seem to get to a lot. And apparently it's got a slightly better audio, I think. So that should help for when the wind's going up and whatnot. But yeah, we just caught up with Billy for some dinner. We're gonna head out to that Jinx nest right now. And he was actually texting one of his friends and he said, yo dude, did you find any Jinxes in the botanical gardens, which is where we're going? And he was like, yeah dude, plenty of them. So I think it's pretty much confirmed at this stage. There is a Jinx nest there. And I hope a lot more of these get found. We're gonna test it out there. So let's see how we go with our Nicki Minaj's. Alright, so just got into the city and things are popping off. We got lures going down, the whatnots. Um, but uh, we're not far away from the botanical gardens where this jinx nest is at. I am pretty excited. None coming up on the nearby just yet. Oh, we got some, yep, Pidgeys. Oh, wow, this place is seriously lit. There's like a four pokey stop lure over there. So, yeah, we'll catch them with you guys in a bit, hopefully, with some Jinxes. Alright, so a little bit of city driving, perfect conditions for hatching some eggs. Uh, don't know what this one is. It's Lucky Dip. I haven't had a good egg in a while. So please, can we just be nice to me? A Tangela. Would that, that wasn't my 10k egg, was it? Yo, that was my 10k egg. Oh, we got another egg. We got another egg. Don't worry. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Don't worry. These are 5k eggs, I'm pretty sure. Please, give me this Abra. I need an Abra so badly. Sandshrew. Why? Alright, we still got a couple k's left on our 10k egg. So hopefully that won't take too long. We might do it 
it's probably not today, but you know, in the near future. We think the botanical gardens are shut down. At the same time as well, as you guys can see on screen, a bunch of jin jinxes popping up. So confirm nest for jinxes at botanical gardens, but I think it is shut down. There might be a jinx on the edge though. We've just walked inside the botanical gardens and even though three-step glitch is coming up, jinx right there. I didn't even tell tell about that one. Here we go. That's crazy. I can't believe it. Like this is just a nest. So if you guys find any more of these, there's definitely a Kangaskhan one in Sunnybank that I found in that video. Uh, actually, I think it was the video where I went on the airplane as well and caught Pokemon. So yeah, this is crazy. Jinx is here, guaranteed. And there's no one here at all. Probably might catch a couple jinxes out here. Yeah, that's essentially how nests work. There's just a guaranteed spawn for these. There's Lapras nests, there's all types of rare Pokemon nests. So it's just really cool. I think you get jinxes out of 10k eggs, maybe 5k. I could be mistaken, but it's an easy way to get a rare Pokemon. Uh, take easy back because he might be hard. I'm using Ultra Balls here to make it easy for me. He's like level 600, so nothing crazy. Okay, we could be good here. One, two, three. Bangers. There we go. That is a Jinx. Oh, I didn't pop the lucky egg. No, that's fine. It's only one Pokemon. Um, but yeah, new Pokemon alert. That's uh, taken a while for us to get. Probably just go around. There's a lure up here. So might chill and see what other people are up to. But uh, late night botanical gardens coming in with the goods. And that is uh, definitely a Jinx nest. And they're mainly, most of the nests are in populated places like cities like this. Um, so yeah, definitely want to try and get you guys' feedback on that uh, Reddit post and hopefully we can try and find more of these things because there's only one in Australia that's noted down and that's this one right here. Apparently it was also a Stami one in the beta, but now it's Jinx. So yeah, let's see how we go. So this is actually the first Charmander I've seen since I started the game. I haven't seen any and it seems to be that they're in like cities and I don't go to them often. Even South Bank, that seems to be like a dedicated Bulbasaur like nest almost. But um, yeah, it seems to be some Charmanders going off here, so that's pretty good. That's my first one since I started the game. That's sick. As we can see, there is uh, some cops out here looking for some Pokemon as well. Maybe I should tell them where the Jinx is at. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, I should just tell them where the Jinx is at, to be honest. It's not that hard, it's just like that way. Hey, Sean, Jinx It's just them or something. So apparently someone, the ambulance and whatnot is coming in, but apparently a tree fell, a branch or a tree fell on her arm and she's hurt, so. They think she was playing Pokemon Go too, so that'll be the headline for tomorrow. All right, so two other individuals came up to us and told us that, yeah, a tree literally fell and uh, yeah, a lot of people were hurt, so hope people are okay. All right, so we're just out here in the jungle and there's another Jinx. Another Jinx, boys. So I'm gonna catch so many of these and I'm gonna power them up to level 5,000 and Nicki Minaj will be on my team all day, every day. I forgot to name one that. I wanna find like a 1,000 CP Nicki Minaj. And we're good. Sometimes I like to call Jinx Gen X because it sounds cooler. Probably call it that, actually. I'm so cool. So the Botanical Gardens in Brisbane is like the equivalent of like the Central Park in New York, but the Central Park in New York is apparently like you can't even like get anywhere it's that chock a block but over here it's i mean arguably it's 9 30 it's pretty late but there's not many people here at all there's only a couple people and everybody said wow there's so many jinx here and i said yes it's a mess Not exactly a Pokemon, I can't catch him. He's all curled up. It's either a possum or a massive rat. I think you're right. I think that's a possum. Or is it? Yeah, no, that's it's a possum. possum. Yeah, it's a possum. All right, so right now I'm just gonna evolve all these guys that got stacked up while I got the lucky egg on. Um, Funnily enough, Botanical Gardens, a lot of guys were saying they were hunting down a vile plume before. Of course, three-step glitch, they didn't end up finding it. But uh, not much really going on. You come here, you get your Jinx, and you, you evolve a couple of pokes, and you bounce, really. It's nothing crazy. Although, there was that Charmander on the lure. So it's probably a Charmander hotspot here as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to grind these up, and hopefully, might be able to look at level 21. See how we go. Alrighty, guys, and we are back home. We have achieved level 21. Um, this was a grind. It was 50,000 XP. I did some evolutions on the way home with the lucky egg. 
Let's see what we get for our reward. It's not popping up. Normally it pops up on the side. Great. I suppose let's just have a look at our items here. Didn't, didn't seem to get anything crazy. Got some Ultra Balls. Maybe a lure module in there somewhere. I I wouldn't be able to tell. I'll have to go check, but I don't think we got anything crazy from it. But uh, there we go, level 21, and you need 75,000 XP to level up again. That is insane, guys. I know I think I said a couple episodes back that 100 was the max level, but apparently the new max level is 40 that people have found out, and it may actually change CB levels, so that should be interesting to see. But either way, I hope you guys did go to enjoy today's video on the nests in Pokemon Go. If you guys did, let me know the like button down below. Of course, if you enjoy this type of Pokemon Go videos, let me know with a subscription, and there will be more awesome Pokemon Go videos coming your way. Later, guys.